Hey guys, Charles from Halt's Boots here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on how to spot a fake football boot from a real one. So about six months ago, I made this video, but it just wasn't to the standard I wanted it to be. I was still really awkward behind the camera. I hadn't been doing YouTube very long. So I figured now it's a good time to go back through those five steps and just kind of give you guys a better explanation and hopefully more in depth about how exactly to go about spotting fake football boots because the fakes are getting pretty good these days and it's getting kind of hard to tell. Tip number one, flimsy sole plates. While football boots are meant to have a little bit of give, they shouldn't be able to fold in half. So as you can see with the fake pair here, you literally can fold them exactly in half and that's not supposed to happen at all. If you take this real boot here, it does bend a little bit, but nothing crazy. Also on the fake pair, if you look at the studs, you can bend them in really easily as well as the back studs. And again, on a real pair, you're just not gonna see any sort of stud bending like that. And that's really just unsafe. Tip number two, size tag. Size tags are often the biggest giveaway on whether or not a football boot is real or fake. The fake pair has the size tag on the instep of the boot, which is completely the wrong spot. And the real pair has the size tag on where the outside of your ankle would rest, but on the inside of the boot. And the positioning of the size tag isn't even the biggest giveaway. Every football boot has a size tag and on that size tag is an ART code. And when you Google the ART codes, if your football boots are real, the model and exact same color will pop up. So if we do a Google search on the ART code for the real pair, which is going to be EG7125, the real colorway and model of the boot pops up. But if we do it with the fake pair and Google the ART code F35316, the same model is going to pop up, but it's a completely different color. And that's just a dead giveaway that your boots are fake. Tip number three, inspect the insole. Now, it's not always easy to tell whether or not a football boot is real based on the insoles. And if you didn't know which boot you pulled these insoles out of, you wouldn't really be able to tell which was for the real pair and which was for the fake pair. And on top of that, even the back molding is almost an identical match to both pairs, although there is one big giveaway and that's gonna be the sizing. The real insole to the real boot is going to have the size of the boot and that also is the size of the insole, whereas the fake one will not have any of that information. And while this isn't always the case, with most Adidas boots, you'll notice that they have the actual sizing of the boot that the insole belongs to. So this is kind of another giveaway that the boots are fake. Tip number four, stiff upper. Sometimes the uppers make it very easy to tell whether or not the boot is fake or real. And oftentimes the fake pairs are made with a cheap, stiff material or plastic and just leads to a lot of discomfort. So as you can see with the fake pair, this upper is very, very stiff. The mesh kind of knit upper has no real stretching. There's no breathability. You can't really tell from behind the screen, but I promise you that this material feels very, very fake. And as you can see, the upper is very stretchy. This knit upper here has a lot of give. There's breathability. Again, you can't tell, but I promise you that this upper feels a lot better. It's got a nice coating on it. And that's just an easy way to tell that these are real and the other ones were fake. Tip number five, laces. While this is not a method normally done, if you have a fake pair and a real pair side by side, you'll be able to tell whether or not the boot is real based on the laces. Now, the fake pair laces are going to be thinner. Again, it's going to feel like a cheaper material. If you look at the aglet, it's going to be off colored and oftentimes chipped and there's never going to be a logo. Now, with the real pair, you can tell these laces are a lot softer. They're a lot more durable. They're not as flat. The aglet color matches the boots a lot better. And although this particular model does not have any logo or detailing on the aglet, the aglet is a lot nicer and there's no chipping on the paint. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and can use some of these tips in the future to help identify whether or not a pair of boots is fake or real. And that's all I have for you guys today. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.